So 2018, you came into the year with quite a bit of buzz, quite a bit of hype. You're on the ESPN Best Prospects list of 2017. Um, the year, it maybe hasn't quite panned out the way that you thought it would. A couple of wins, but maybe not quite the sort of wins you wanted. What has actually gone on behind the scenes that sort of influenced your performance and your year in general? Um, <clears throat> so uh, um, a lot of great work from my team. Um, and a lot of, uh, and I'll say a lot of like keeping quiet from me. So I was going through some health issues that I kept to myself, um, and that did me no favors, and that did my team no favors. You know, I just caused them a lot of um, headaches. You know, um, so uh, with my blood count being low, with my low um, iron levels as well, this it. it it definitely was just a um, a recipe for disaster, really. Um, and so I kept those things to myself, which basically led to two bad performances. Um, <clears throat> but thankfully, I've got that under control now. Um, and I'm looking forward to a great uh, year next year because this past year wasn't as great as, as I wanted it to be. Um, I am still like undefeated, which is great. But like you know, just um, looking forward, I'm I am definitely looking forward to a better, um, better me. Can Can you explain what exactly? Because I've seen bits and pieces, but maybe it's I've never seen it sort of you know or come from you in any sort of great length. What exactly was going on with your body? What What were the symptoms you were experiencing? When did it sort of start? And you know, what was the progression with that before you actually had to seek help or get some help? So the so yeah so I I was um oh, when did it start oh, I started no oh, I started like quite a while back um I would say maybe mid mid year last year so um yeah mid year last year I was experiencing a lot of uh, um I was experiencing a lot of um blood loss um blood loss and that was actually uh, through the bathroom and then and like you know through that I didn't actually think too much of it until um, until my fight in, oh, when was it? Mid year last year when I put a bad, bad, bad um, outing in New Zealand when I um, when I took a guy for ten rounds and I hardly threw any punches. And from there, um, my team just said, "Man, something's wrong. Like you know, something's wrong because you're training hard, but you don't seem to be reaping the um, the benefits from it." So then we did a few um, blood tests, and it shows that I am very low on my blood count, um, very low on iron and stuff, um, which basically means that, um, which basically means that I can't push myself um, through the boxing rounds, and that means I can't actually recover through through the boxing rounds as well. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's a lose lose situation. <laughs> um, and then now, thankfully, like I, well, thankfully I had a good team on my hands, and then like you know they were able to recognize that and see that and be able to, like you know, put the put the proper precautions into place to make sure I don't feel like that. And there was um, some reports that you had some some surgery as well to sort of cope with part of this. What was the story with that? Oh, that uh. uh, uh wasn't really like a bad surgery. It was just basically um, checking things in my body, um, just to just to make sure that things are clear of like of cancer. Really, like you know, I needed to make sure that I um, that I wasn't like that sick, you know. Um, and so we did that, and like you know, I'm all cleared up. So that was that kind of health scare um, taken away. Um, but now we are on a good path. Like you know, I'm doing the right things that I should be doing, um, and I'm feeling good. So, what what was the the solutions to these these health issues that you were having? What what are you now doing to overcome them so you can train, reap the rewards, and get the benefit in the ring? Yeah. So, just like I said, like, uh, um, so so just a lot of um, fiber. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a lot of fiber. I'm, I, I'm, I'm taking a lot of, um, 
iron pills that are help. I'm, I am, I've, I've slightly changed my diet a bit just to kind of support that too. So a lot of foods that are high in iron, um, high in fiber, a lot of dark green veggies, which is great. Um, and things have been working well for me. So, yeah. And your body now that you've made these adjustments to your diet and such, the supplements, how does it feel? And are you noticing, like, you know, you're recovering better or, you know, you've been getting some muscle growth or, you know, things like that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I've just been feeling a lot better in trainings. And trainings of my last two camps have been, they have been really, really changed up, oh, very, very hard, very, very challenging. Um, and, and like, you know, one of those training camps, it was hard to train alongside like other fighters as well, because you're doing the same workout, but you can see them recover. But, but for some reason, you're just like slowly dying, like, you know, the, the um, workout, which kind of sucks. Like, you know, that part of training, like, was, was definitely very hard for me just to kind of see, just to kind of see like, you know, the other training fighters doing a lot better than me. But then now it kind of makes sense. Um, and so, yeah, um, so, so in terms of training, training's a bit easier because I can actually recover um, through it. So that's been great. Um, physically, um, oh, oh, well, like, you know, physically, I'm just looking great because I train hard. Um, but I am getting a lot more color in my skin, which is good uh, because before I've noticed, like, I've been a bit pale coming into the ring and then, like, you know, um, Looking back into past fights, and I see like my skin is a bit like you know pasty and it's a bit like you know dull. Whereas now, like you know, it, it does look like there's some blood in my skin, so it's good. <laughs> and so, what's all this building to in 2019? What's the plan for this year? The the plan is just it's just to basically like you know um, make some serious moves in the in the in the heavyweight division. So yeah, so uh, 2018 wasn't that great, but I feel like I um, am um, off to a big start in 2019. So yeah, so like, you know, I am in, oh, so this is coming into my third year or fourth year as a professional. Um, and I feel like, you know, I feel, um, I feel like now is the right time to basically take some bigger names and, you know, climb up those rankings and make some serious moves. Is there uh, any names that you're potentially looking at, you know, a, a couple of guys that you wouldn't mind fighting in 2019? Not anyone in particular apart from Joseph Parker. Like, you know, I, I feel like that fight makes sense for us. Um, so there's always going to be that Joseph Parker fight. But in terms of, like, anyone else, um, whoever, whoever. And are you going to be using title defences of your WBO regional strap, um, to get to a final eliminator sort of situation or are you targeting that WBO route or is there other sanctioning bodies that you're looking to sort of work your way through? I think um, through any chance that I can get, then I will go down that route. Um, and since I'm ranked number 10 in the WBO, um, it just makes sense that I just go down that uh, track for now. So yeah, so that's the, um, so that's the plan right now is just the, uh, is just to chase the people down in the in the WBO. And in, in terms of 2019, is there by the this time next year, is there anywhere specific you want to be in terms of how much progress from this point? Uh, oh, not specifically. Um, I'm going to have to. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I suppose that type of question is kind of like. Uh, a, it, it should be really answered and possibly looked at as a um, team question. Like, you know, I've got to sit down with my team, um, see and, and basically see what the plans for us are. Um, so, yeah, so I, I just basically think like, you know, uh, what whatever comes our way, I feel like, um, I feel like it, it will be a big year. And then if something big happens, I think that we are, willing and basically strong enough to um, take on the challenges that will come. And you fought three times in 2018, are you looking for a similar sort of schedule in 2019? 
I'm, I am, I am looking. Well, I'm hoping for a busier year. Um, yeah, yeah, 2018. Fighting three times isn't ideal for me. Um, so I'm, I, I, I am looking for at least five for uh, 2019. Hopefully. And you entered 2018 with quite a bit of buzz behind your back after that Fred Latham performance. Are you hoping you can sort of build a bit more of that up with the, the next couple of performances? Definitely, definitely. Like, you know, that's, um, uh, that's probably the, the people's um, greatest performance of mine. Um, and, like, you know, I'm just um, hoping for some more fights like that. Yeah. And with, with the health struggles this in 2018, and um, obviously that's led to the, the subpar performances, you got the wins, but maybe it wasn't the wins that you sort of wanted in terms of, you know, the manner of the victory. And some people aren't talking about Junior Far in the same light that they had been. You know, is it? You know, fans are fickle, but do you think you can win them back with a couple of good performances? Yeah, I definitely could. Um, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, because like another, you know, like everyone loves a knockout. Um, so I feel like you know, the more knockouts I get, it'll be friend, uh, it'll be fan friendly. Um, but yeah, yeah, but like you know, in terms of fans, you know, they. They are definitely not my focus or concern, you know. Fans um, come and go as they please, uh, but that's fine. And that makes the sport so, like, you know, so um, coming up on my next few fights, I, 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 I would be definitely hoping for a knockout. And, um, and basically, like, you know, like if it comes, it comes, and I'll take advantage of it.